Hey guys, what's up? I am here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Fire Force, which is on episode 11. Now this episode right here gives us, gives us some information in the first half of how Fire Force Unit 8 came to be. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that um, Shinra does ask a uh, concerning question, like how did Special Fire Force 8 came to be? And we get a narration from Hinawa himself. Back then, he used to be like he used to be maybe some kind of fire soldier or possibly a soldier that was just living his 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 days, you know. And we'll later on have a friendship with Maki-chan. Eventually, he would later on see his friend turn in, turn into an, an infernal. And he couldn't have the courage to actually kill him or shoot him. And someone else had to do the job for him when they found out what the hell was going on. Eventually, as time continues on, he will later on meet Obi, who is apparently trying to find a way how to solve the situation about the husband turning to an inferno. But because of a different fire force that doesn't really care much for it, he decides to take care of it himself eventually. With the help of Hinawa, he decides to join up. They decide to team up together, find the Infernal, and put him to rest eventually before he went, went berserk. As time continues on in, in the narration of how Special Force 8 came to be in the Fire Force, we get to know that um, these two decide to team up and later on we recruit Maki-chan and then like... Um, What's your Mikad? Sister? What? Iris will later on come along too in the later future. Eventually, they will later on make their suggestions of like, um, of like suspicions about Infernals possibly being in Fire Force District 8. That's where Fire Force Team 7 is at. And that is where, like, I believe the strongest fire soldier known to be Shinma and Benimaru is there. And it looks like to me when he was strolling through town, he looks like some kind of delinquent that doesn't care much. But eventually we get to see his power when he sees an inferno inside his district. And eventually we get to see his abilities which makes him really impressive. I mean, why he is so impressive. We get to know that when Fire Force 8 come along and sees him in action eventually, even after telling them to get the hell out of here, we see to it that um, he's a second and third generation Pyrokinic user. So that more more of a time of what makes him more um powerful is because he somehow could create flames and control them at the same time eventually the old lady who apparently talked to shinra of what of if we ever get turned into infernals we would like to meet our end by his hand you know and eventually we see to it that benny maru whatsoever um he will later on go to the guy who will turn into an inferno and Kills him in one shot with through it through the chest of his hand, you know, or through the chest, and the episode ends off there. And preview the next episode is called "The Eve of Hostilities" in Asakusa. Asakusa. Anyways, we get the first half is and the first half we get to know how how Fire Force Special A came into be. You know, these guys are people will become a group that cares for people's lives and cherish life beyond understanding and etc. The second half will later on will see Benny Maru's abilities and dang, he is really impressive. That's much I can say. But anyways, that's about it people. I'll see you guys in my final recap which would which will come up in a possible another 30 to 40 minutes. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Afazero people. Have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Alright? Peace out. Bye bye. Toot toot!